Hello everyone. Welcome back to my tutorial video of uh, Rise of the Vampire. Um, so last video I already showed you um, at the very beginning of the game about the timing pardon for both sides. Now I will continue to analysis um, my decision. Um, so um, let's continue with the video. So after stealing the um, legendary items from the hunters over here, I moved down to the cities. So you have to remember that every time when you try to attack a city, like a bastion, try to kill this guy first. This guy sells um, potions and healing. So the earlier that he dies, the easier for you to kill them later because they can't heal with the, uh, with the potions of healing. So just keep in mind that. Um, so this is a pet from the archer. This hunter has two stun um, and he also control a pet. This pet is a, um, attack and defense uh, will be based on the um, the attacks and defense of the city guard. So if the city guards uh, upgrade the attack, uh, the pet will also gain attack and defense. Uh, very very nice uh, meat shield for for the archer. As you can see here. I just see this guy alone by himself. So I'm trying to kill this guy. Unfortunately my my ultimate is on cooldown. If not then this guy would have been dead. Now he's full on HP again. Hunter is here, I have to run away. There we go. I'm trying to tell my wife to come here to kill them because I initially thought that they they would chase me towards here but they, they just moved back so now I'm going to I'm going to be creeping in this camp over here so you can see the red symbol here this red symbol as we spoke about it on the uh, first video it's uh, the lower symbol you can activate it with the lower stone um, I don't think I am moving there yet let me just speed up the video quick so I decided to attack the town interesting oh okay interesting so the hunters, they just activate the um, the quest called the Lost Prince. So this quest, when it is activated, it will spawn a prince, a very very tiny prince for the city guard to control. So this guy here, if he managed to run back to the city then the hunters had succeeded the quest uh, every one of the hunters including the city guard will gain a thousand gold and the king himself which is right here will gain a random legendary items in here very very nice quest but it is hard because if this guy gets sniped then the vampires, me and my wife, will receive a thousand gold. However, in this case, I don't decided to go there because it's just wasting my time. So we're just trying to kill the, these creeps in here, and the prince just run away. This guy does not have any attack, so you want, you want to make sure that he gets into the city. Because if he gets sniped, then 
not not good for the hunters. You can't really TP the kingdom, the prince though. You can't TP the king, yeah. He's not TP -able. So Hunters TP back. In here, um, I spam my ultimate because I thought that the hunter would TP in here. Unfortunately for me, the the city guard also has a hero, and he TP here first, so I got raided. I thought that the hunter would like uh, TP in here, so I just used my ultimate. So it it, it is a waste, but. If the hunters were to TP in here, then they all will get stunned. And then my wife can just just follow up with another stun and someone will die in here. So very nice play from the hunter. They bait my ultimate. Very nice. And we have to run back. This this data, we are really weak in data. The prince here. The prince. He just need to go back here. It's pretty easy. He even have a a, a couple of white wolves to protect him, so he should be okay. This is the werewolf main hero, as I spoke earlier in the video. This guy can change into a werewolf during night time. This, uh, in this form, he is really tanky. He also has a heal and a spirit link, which makes him extremely hard to die. So, so in here, my wife said, this night, maybe we should split and destroy Bastion. And then I told her that we either split or Try to kill heroes. So what we just do right here is we resummon this guy. As I said earlier on the video, we can resummon the uh, the lower creatures once every 15 minutes. So we summon this guy about 15 minutes ago. So we just reactivate him. He's dead. So my wife get a legendary item. Which is the staff of mana. This is the best item in the game. It gives a brilliant aura. Really, really nice aura for the hero. Now, after creeping this cat, we would try to go and creep again, I guess. So, second night here? Okay. You see that? I just level up my my uh my priest or my princess with a skill for my altar. Uh, so it gives her a level and 500 gold. So we decided to attack the town over here. So. Sky TP first. Well, a hero thing. My PC is not really that good, so you can see that it's very laggy. So the hunter just TP back there. I'm gonna pause it for a second there. Yeah, I want you to take a look at the priest's uh, movement. So she just TP from this tower, and then she went right over here in front of the quarters of vampires. 
the mage was right here so if she run over here if I manage to pop an ultimate in her hat she would be stunned for at least 4 seconds she has an item that can uh, cast mana shield which absorb damage but she didn't use it right now so if that were to happen she would die right away so this is one of the things that I want players to be careful when you walk towards the vampire you always want to pop your invulnerable spell but she did that right after this so yep so she did that so this spell is really powerful everything around her gets, gets you a lot of damage you can see bam it's like massacre everything that's why we need to kill her first she's so strong she can heal and she can just kill everything if you can kill this guy you win the game and you can see that okay i popped my ultimate there you can see that i popped my ultimate there she's pretty low i'm waiting for my wife to stun her i silence her but this guy pops his the mage cop his uh, his bubble right away. Very nice usage of bubble. So everything in the bubble is invulnerable. But the lesser minion doesn't die when it goes here. Okay, so she's safe when she's in here. This ultimate lasts for 15 seconds, really, really long. And by the time it ends, her invulnerable spell is off to down too, so very powerful. Okay. So you can see that my wife is getting focused. She healed back. So we're trying to kill the hero. So my wife missed her stuff. Focus the hero. Very hard to see her. As you can see, when you run it towards here, then I can't really see where she is. Like initially, it takes me about 5 seconds to see her, by the time that I see her, she's really gone. Very nice play from the trees, very annoying too. So my wife is very low HP, barely escaped. She said, he said, phew. That's true, that's, he almost died there. So, the second attack didn't work. Very well played from the hunter side. So right now we said split. I said cool. This is me. I'm trying to move down here to attack the main city where my wife will be moving here and attack the city over here. So if one of them decided to go alone and take care of the other one, we can solo kill them really easily. This is really good because it split the hunters up, essentially make them weaker. I have a silent staff so I can still kill them, kill people with my ultimate. So they use the, the scouting feature on the item. You remember that I said about the the Sears has a, a an ability called reveal. He just used that ability to reveal target, so he sees what am I doing, so he sees that I'm doing the, uh, the siege weapon. He can deal a lot of damage to buildings. Really, really good. If you want to attack like a bastion, just spam a lot of these, and it will go down really quickly. 
Do you know where I am? Do you keep me back with the mage? So I saw them come at me. I'm like, okay, come out. I just move my guy out. And then over here, my wife is doing her work. Very nice. So they know that okay, so the city is a pack. So they would run towards here. And when I know that they are running towards there, I'm going back and hit this spot again. So it's very annoying to deal with. Okay, here. All the heroes are there. I'm here. <laughs> This is the main hero, but he probably didn't notice me. Now he knows me, but he's like, uh, I'm not gonna face you alone. And he was right, because if he, he tried to go here and, and kill me, I would murder him. And my wife said, there are on me. So which means that she gave me space. She's doing pretty good so far. Managed to run away, very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to uh, pressure the, uh, the, the bashings over here. So this guy just used her ult his ultimate his metamorphosis. It changed into a very powerful warrior. This thing can stun and deal a lot of damage. I just used my ultimate here. So I see the, this is the TP side. I did keep it back already. Have to run away. Okay, kill it. Can you kill this guy? One heal and he's gonna be full health. Very difficult to kill. There you go, you see that? So. I decided to change into the sea. So, as I said earlier, every time when you try to to attack a city, try to kill the priest that sells potion. It is, it makes your life much easier. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to focus healer as always. Her HP is pretty low, but on skill, her HP is back to full. Very annoying to do that. Okay, she's caught her invulnerable again. Use this guy again. It's very annoying. Then you can see every creature who dies. It's crazy. It's insane, eh? Okay, so her, her invulnerable is off. This is me. I'm trying to attack her. I got stunned. My wife is trying to find an angle to stun. Well, in this one, I try to heal my wife back. It's really hard. They play pretty good. really do anything. This guy is really tanky. I just used my ultimate there. They just stunned me and I can't really do anything. Permanent stun. So I have to run away. They did pretty good on defending the priest. I have to give credits for that. So this laughing sound is when I give my wife a level. She gained another, another level and 500 gold. So we try to switch to the city. So second night is almost over. We didn't kill anyone. So not good for us. Priest just bought another two legendary items. The book and the Syrian head guard of the bear. The book is a really good item because it reduced magic damage by 20%. So 
the white sun, my coil, and my W is also reduced by 20%. Really good. So he's here again. He's gonna pop his, ult uh, his ultimate. Which is pretty much just stun. I was too late. Because I, I was too late. If I can follow up with that, she would have died. But my lord is, was down here. And he popped his ultimate again to save her. Very annoying. And then when the bubble ends, this will happen. Silent her. My OT is still on cooldown, which is really, really annoying. Okay, she got her her uh, invulnerable up. If that's skill gain, everything dies. We have to run away because this thing deals a lot of damage. So second night. Killer is still alive. This game looks really, really towards the hunter side. It feels like they won already because after two nights, healer is almost full armor. Everyone else is, else is pretty tanky too. They got this guy got three legendary items. This guy got four legendary items. That's five like in the item, I'm sorry about that. Three, four, five. And the ranger has one, two, three, three legendary items. They are really, really tanky. So it looks like the game is over for vampires. And what I'm trying to do here is trying to open a portal in here. So this lower simple in here. Instead of summoning a creature, it opens a portal that can help me move to my base. So my base is over here, and the portal is over here. So it is a really fast way for you to come back and forth. So let's go back to my perspective. I have 9,000 gold from the last fight, and I'm gonna try to buy some weapons that help me. This orb is very powerful. You summon six vampire minions, and you can upgrade them into the elite one, like this. 60 seconds each. So it's very, very, very powerful. So what I'm trying to do is I try to upgrade the uh, attack and um, armor. So what this do is that it gives your minions a bit tankier. So I always upgrade them into blood knights, but I never upgrade them into the Vargas because it's really weak. So this is so I think over here. I said go gank them because I just tracked them with my ulti. Here you go. So I see they are here. So we're trying to go there and kill them. So this guy dies again. There's another legendary item in here. Very, very, very strong hunters. Legendary items, legendary items, everyone is it's, it's strong. So if you don't kill them now, we're gonna lose the game. So I said focus on ranger. Notice notice that this guy's color is not blue, it's green. So it's not the real one. This guy can create an illusion. 
just hit the uh, crease. There you go. Slow it down. The bats W. I just cripple her. Oh, she's completely out, man. Stun her. Uh, can you see that? My ultimate got blocked by by the mage. Very well played. She used with the pieces. Use her. Uh, AOE ability very annoying. But this time the heal uh, the healer's mana is really low. They they might want to run away from the vampires. If she's trying to run away, of course me. And my wife trying to chase her, she popped her, her invulnerable. Really nice. As soon as this scene goes out, if this mage does not have an ulti, she will be pretty dead in my eye. You can see that. Okay, so we're trying to kill her. Hold on here. Bam! This is the highlight of the game. Three person stun. Mage got stun. Priest got stun. And Seekers got stun. Three person. And she only has 500 health, 900 health. No mana shield activated. So it's really easy for me to kill her. Koi and W. Bam, she's dead. That's the game. That's over. TP. So every time he's TP, he's invulnerable. So I noticed that there's another seeker in here too. This is the real one because you can see that the shuriken is, is flying around her. She's trapping him. So what she just did that want to do is she wants to TP into somewhere that she can run away. By doing this, she just literally stuck with me. This guy can bring him So she stuck him. And he's a grip. He knows that he's gonna die. So I'm just trying to find an angle to call him. This is pretty much GG from there. Once the healer dies and the seeker dies, it's over for them. 10 minutes is more than enough to break a base. So, the moral of the story is that um, the encounter earlier, what they should do is they have to, to use the mage TP skill to TP the priest back. To the main base, but they didn't do it, so they died. So this cost them the healer and the game too. The hunters did pretty good in the game. I have to give credit for that, but after that one little mistake, it just cost them the game. So it's pretty much just easy on there. I will not show you the end video because it's pretty boring. We just break in base and kill the king. It's pretty easy when the healer dies. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.